is of course the Day of Nails rerun dropping and we were expecting some rush content based on skill leaks, potentially a super mini box to go alongside him, but that's not what exactly happened. We of course got a deck build box, some brand new skills, a bundle, and a, a brand new card available via lifetime missions. Now, this is the Hermit Soul. It is support for Gavin's zero attack point deck. I think it's Gavin's at least. When it puts monster class attack on your face up zero attack monster, change the attack in monster defense mode. Okay, that's fine. If you do, special a vanilla with zero attack from your graveyard face up to your field. This is a really cool card, right? It is stopping one attack. It is pointless against maximums, which is not great. It is a really risky card because it is a one-off in your deck. And so if your opponent does snipe this and you are having a body in, on your field in face of attack, most of your attack points, then you're taking some big damage to your face, which is it's not great. So I feel like there's a, a universe where this card works and it's good, but for the moment, I'm not really seeing it. Then we've got a brand new bundle. Now, again, the issue with the bundles is, as you can see there, it is pulling from the super mini box. Now, I will say there is no point in buying this now because we're still due the Meta Gear skill, the Psychic one, the Gavin one, the other Nail one, and the Blue Eye skill. Meaning that at some point before like the 20th of May, we're due another Rush Duel content drop. Probably super mini and a Blue Eye Strike Stacker, like probably something like that. But this won't be as bad as the last one was when we had this, which was the Barrel Dragon drop, and also the Structure Deck. You have to wait another month and a half for a box. It won't be that bad. It'll be two or three weeks, but still, I wish they wouldn't do this, but they did. Now, this is a Battle Trap. It doesn't work against Maximums, but for a metagame where Maximums aren't that prevalent, this card is really cool because it stops you from dying that turn. Sure, your board, your board might be wiped, but if you know you're going to be taking big damage, then this does let you survive the turn. So I think this card is really, really good in a different meta game than the one we're currently in. Now, if you're life 3,000 or higher, you do take 2,000 damage, which is fine for surviving the duel, right? If you'd, you'd rather take 2k than take 4,000 and lose, right? So in that sense, this card is pretty, pretty cool. But we're not going to be buying today because of course it's a bundle for a box I don't need. But what we are going to be buying is the brand new Scorching Flame Burst deck for box. We're not seeing this rush duel yet. And it is a bit early than I kind of expected. But I thought we'd go for like a year until we saw reprints of things from the first main box, given it is our only main box still. But no, we've got Dragus in here, we've got the Dragonic Slayer, but of course Dragus is an alt art, so that's cool, they're not paywalling this alt art. But they are bringing in a bunch of more cards at limit 3, including Shock Dragon and the Semiruler. We're going to go through the box, and we'll talk about the brand new cards when we pull them, because that'll make it a bit more fun, right? So we'll see, this should be a very quick box opening, right, because there's not many cards we need to pull. We are pulling for everything, because why not? And if we, you know, if we go less than the seven half thousand gems you got to spend to open this entire box three times, that would be, that would be ideal. If we're prismatic, it's it's not a, a second slayer. I would not be very happy with that. But let's see. Pack number seven. It is a bit weird getting no new rares normals, but oh, please don't do the first ten. It'll just not be anything. Okay. Nope. We have the boy volcano attack dragon now. This is funny because the brand new skill for Luke, you've got to have this card or the ultra rare, otherwise you can't even lock it. So they've technically paywalled a skill by forcing you to buy packs to pull this card. Now it's not the worst thing in the world because if you are going to be playing that skill, you are playing that card anyway. So it kind of goes hand in hand. But you know, for, for speed players that maybe don't care about Rush Duel, that do care about maxing out their skills because they're completionist, then it, it does kind of suck for those players. Then we've got the spell card, okay, the new ninja boost spell, or the debuff spell, sorry. This is really, really big, right? You always want to take a debuff over an attack buff because it means other cards in your field can potentially beat over that card if your one attack does get stopped. So this is going to be very, very cool for that noodle deck. And of course, there's new skill for them as well. So it'll be fun to see if that deck does improve drastically or not. Let's see. We've got nothing again. Okay, come on. Come on. Show me a Prismatic. There is the multi strike Dragon Dragus Altart. Cool. If I can get a Prismatic of that, that'll be cool to go along some other one. That'd be neat. Let's see. We've got the the Gravity Press. This pack has been pretty good, you know? Pretty, pretty good, but also it's been mainly old cards. Explosion. Kaizo. Come on. Prismatic. Show me. It is not. It is the Shock Dragon. Now, this card is really, really good against maximums. You move off the top of your deck, then to the end of the turn, the face-up monsters your opponent controls the highest attack on their field, 
Lose tech with the one on your field with the highest attack. So if it's gravity press, they reduce by 16. If it's a drag gear, they reduce by 25. If you're facing a board of all 1500s, they'll all be reduced by this card, making them zero. Mean you can go for some fun of decay plays, but I think the big thing is going to be that both this and Dragius are limit three. And so if you do want to play a Luke-ish deck, then you can't really go all in on the aggro Dragius strategy, especially with a skill. If you're playing the skill with this, you can only play one of this. So it's it's a bit weird what they're doing. The whole format is kind of being balanced around Dragius existing, which is it's really baffling. Not too many things left, right? The Slayer, thankfully, is in the box still. So if we don't pull him, we can skip him. I've got a feeling we might pull him now. No, it is the Hiroshima Warrior. So this is fine, right? Shuffling card back to our deck is, of course, great. Uh, they're making a warrior control unaffected by trap cards. So they can't activate them anyway. So uh, widespread does nothing. Rasad does nothing. The guard does nothing. It's nothing. Number nine. Okay, 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 Konami. Okay. So we're going down into the 20s. Please, just now, I'm going to go and check my settings real quick. Bulk purchase. Selection boxes, okay. So, I do need to turn this on. Good job, I looked, because otherwise we would have missed out on the super rares, which we need. We have got the Yurishima Sage. This one is the one we talked about in the skill leak video, that you can combo with the ultra rare to summon itself out, and then use the skill to change battle positions, to debuff, then change it back again. And This seems like it'd be fine, but I think it's more matchup dependent than the cards you have currently in Duel Links, so maybe future support, it'll be better. We'll see. King Beetle, that card was a very fun cog, a very painful cog, you know, the first King Games, that was kind of awful. But uh, let's see, pack number six, pack number seven is going to be nothing. Pack number eight will hopefully be something. Number nine, do not go down to the last ten. Okay, we are. So, we are still missing in this one the, uh, the Ninja, the Trap card, and the Ultra Rare. Not looking too good for saving some gems on this pack opening. But uh, that's kind of thing rushed, right? Is that they are doing releases more often, but what it actually turns out is that you're spending more money or gems on these more often releases than you would do if they were to just like put a mini box and main box out at a standard time frame. So either we wait like a month and a half for a box, or we get a box often but pay more. There's no real like there's no real upside to it really. Uh, Forest, Clarence Dragon, come on. Okay, very cool. Deals a thousand, draws one. That's neat. I just realised we are going to get the Slayer. We're kind of forced to pull a Slayer. But if it is the last card in the pack, then that's fair enough. Combustion Crisis is a neat little trap that only really works if your opponent has sevens on the field, which is that going to happen that often in Rush Door right now? No, not really. But Heart Piece is one of the best decks. It, that's level fives, right? Or maximums are level 10. It feels like this will only be good against dragons. So if dragons become that much better, then this will probably see some side decking play if Rush Tournaments had side deck, but they don't. They're just usually, you know, one deck, no side, best of three. Please don't be... Really? The last... Okay, it wasn't the last pack, technically, but now I've got it. So, this first pack could pull a absolutely nothing, but we have passed that threshold, so it is time to speed run this box opening. Let's go. Skip. Oh, I don't, I do not need my fifth copy. I don't need it, but I will take a prismatic of something. Please, no, nothing, okay. Oh no, I feel like this is going to be a really bad value pack opening. There's a shock dragon, oh, a very dragon heavy, a very dragon heavy, I think, is that, is that that guy on there? Is that him? Uh, no, it's not, it's not him. Okay, skip again, we've got the Semerula. Okay, we're missing the Dragus and Noodle Art, so hopefully, well we know we're getting it in this 10, but hopefully It'll be in the first two packs, maybe it was going to be. Oh, that is a... We went down to the, uh, the, the the second pack. Okay. We've saved 150 gems. Not really the outcome I was hoping for, but surely this one is going to be even better. Ooh, okay, that is a lot of Super S and Ultras, but not the ones we kind of hoped for. We just got all the reprints <laughs> in that one. So hopefully this one will be... Mm, no, not even better. Oh, let's just get this over with. Just, uh, just, 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 just end it. Just, okay, yep, okay, sure. 18 packs left. There's the drag, yes, the slayer, and these two. We're going down to the bottom. You know, I just feel like it's gonna happen. Let's see. Okay, so the last card in the box is the slayer and this, meaning we can go one by one. And hopefully, just leave slayer in the box. Hopefully, 
The spell isn't bottom. Last card. Please, just... <laughs> pack number six. Surely. Please. Okay. Okay. Five packs left. We don't want Slayer number six. That's done for the pack opening. Let's go farm Nail and uh, see if these decks are any good. Thanks for watching.